Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel Living in Florida. My name is Jose Reyes, your real estate advisor here in the beautiful Sunshine State. Today, I am visiting a brand new construction community located within the beautiful city of St. Cloud, Florida. Now I did do a video recently uh, and maybe a few months ago of another community locally here, close by to this one, right? Uh, here in St. Cloud. So we're kind of more or less in the same vicinity, maybe a two minute drive from, or maybe less, from that community. There's three builders here within this development. Uh, the one that we're gonna be taking a look at today is gonna to be Land C Homes. Yeah, Land C Homes. It's gonna be this model that I have right here. Already took a chance to look through this model. This is a two story home, something that some folks uh, tend to like, some that people are avoiding altogether, right? Because some folks prefer a one story, but uh, this builder has this particular model here, just this one model for us to take a look at today. This one's a five bedroom, three and a half bath, 2,560 square feet for this nice uh, model that they have here, which I believe is their new castle model. This one is starting around the $497,000 and on up from there, depending on which lot you choose and what finishes they put into this home. Now, they do mainly inventory or spec homes, so they're already gonna uh, provide all your finishes for those homes, but they do have a ton of good upgrades on them. And they're offering all of your appliances. So you are gonna have your kitchen appliances and you're gonna have um, your washer and dryer uh, in the second floor for this one. But uh, let's go ahead and get started with this one and take a look at this uh, beautiful model and see what you guys think about it. guys so let's go ahead and get this tour started for you guys i usually try to start these at the beginning of the driveway as you've seen in the videos that i put on this channel but today they have me caged in since this is a model home and the driveway is basically a sidewalk going in to the office but let's go ahead let's go ahead and get started with this one let's go ahead and go through this front door here which let's take a look at it, it looks like an eight foot door it is a glass door design which looks nice and elegant nice big entryway for this one uh, kind of a nice little area that's covered here so you're not getting rained on if it's raining uh, i know we've been be getting a lot of rain lately here in florida but uh, at least they have a nice covered area here well let's go ahead and go through this house again we did mention that these are starting around the four hundred ninety seven thousand dollar range and it goes up from there well let's see what that kind of money squeaky door let's see what that gets you here within this community so immediately coming into this house you are greeted with this nice little foyer area separates the common area of the house with an entryway here immediately to our left is going to be one of the five bedrooms and this can actually be used as an in-law suite because it has its own full-size bathroom now high ceilings in this one is about nine uh, feet four inches throughout the entire house uh, I think well actually I think the second floor is a little a little uh, smaller as far as the ceiling goes, but uh, we'll take a look at that momentarily. But nice big window facing the front of the home, letting a lot of natural light in here for you guys. Decent room size. This looks probably like it's a 11 by 10 or maybe a 12 by 11. Uh, we'll have to look at uh, the actual layout for you and we'll put it up here and for you somewhere and throughout the video. But uh, you do have a walk-in closet behind this door for this bedroom. Plenty of space here for a lot of clothes, which is great. You do have your full-size bathroom over here. It looks like it's gonna be a quartz countertop, a vanity with plenty of space down below. And you have your uh, stand-in combination tub and shower here. Uh, interesting finishes here. It looks like a subway-style tile, but it's all kind of straight lines here instead of being staggered. It doesn't go all the way to the top, but hey, you know, usually developers kind of have this three-quarters uh, a, a tiled wall here for you which is great but uh, let's keep on moving let's move on to the rest of this house we are in the first floor i almost went out this way or at least try to go out that way it wasn't going to go much uh anywhere right but uh 
coming over this way. I like these, this nice little archway that separates the back of this first floor from the entryway, which is great. This would be access to the garage, but they're using that as the office space right now. You have this nice little kind of uh, key or drop area, so you can kind of connect maybe some phones because you have maybe some uh, slots to connect the USB ports there. And then you have some storage space down below. Really nice little detail there. Now you do have a half bathroom over here We're on the front first floor, which is gonna be kind of convenient for your guests to come in here instead of having to go upstairs, which would go up this way, which we'll see in a moment. But uh, plenty of space here for this half bathroom. It looks like you get quartz countertops here. Now remember, this is a model home, so it's gonna have a ton of uh, upgrades and options that you can get if you're building a home from dirt, right? But, uh, or ground up, I should say. But most of these will be spec homes and will have all the options chosen for you. But here is, this is gonna be your common area. So kind of like your family space, open space concept, right? So family space for your gathering of your family and friends. You have your dining room cent area right in the center here and your kitchen, which we'll take a look at. But this is a very, very spacious area. Plenty of space to kind of relax and watch some movies, watch some shows, watch some YouTube videos, my videos, right? Um, you have some fan, a nice big fan for the model. Definitely keeping this area nice and cool. That'd be a great option if they actually gave you that for these homes. But we'd have to check and see what you would get when they build this home throughout the community. But nice big window facing the back of the home, letting a lot of natural light in here. You have another big natural light uh, area here for the dining room because you have this nice big sliding door that's gonna take you onto that lanai. And you have windows over there. Now, we do have the dining room right here, dead center, kind of splitting the difference between the common area over here and the kitchen. So plenty of space here to sit. Uh, looks like six people on this table, but if you wanted a bigger table, I think you can comfortably sit at least eight in an area here. Now, you do have this beautiful kitchen. This is gonna be a, a gourmet kitchen, right? Because you have the microwave and oven over there, but take a look at this waterfall kitchen island. This is really nice. I've seen this in some builders in other areas, uh, videos that I've done in Ocala. Some builders are trying to implement this. It just looks very, very nice. A nice little luxury style. Uh, kitchen island here. Now, plenty of space for bar stools down here. It looks like they're giving you space for four since they have kind of some uh, some space here that's kind of taken up by that drywall that's put there. But uh, you have a plug down there, so if you need to charge anything while you're sitting here, that'd be great. You can sit there and have some breakfast, charge your phone, or use your laptop or whatnot. You have a nice farmhouse style uh, kitchen sink here, which is something that a lot of folks enjoy a lot of folks call me up and say this is definitely one of those features that they want they want a single sink not a double sink you know it just all depends on what you like right now the gourmet style kitchen will be the samsung appliances you have the the microwave and oven right here integrated into this countertop which is great beautiful crown molding throughout the top of these uh cabinets that look like they're 42 inch cabinets which i believe are soft clothes let's see Actually, they're not soft clothes. Well, you know, hopefully they can upgrade that. Um, but uh, they do have, well, so yeah. So this usually, I guess this is two ovens. Usually this is a microwave and oven, but it looks like they have two ovens here and a microwave over there. So you can have two things going on in holidays, a turkey and maybe some pork or whatever else that you do, or maybe a pot roast or whatnot, or you can, you can have two things going on on holidays here, which is great. You have this integrated, uh, uh, stove top, right? Um, I will say, I would say this is the chef's kitchen, but I'm sure someone would say that it's not because it's not a gas stove. Uh, I did have a comment recently that I called something like this a gourmet style kitchen or a chef's kitchen, and someone said that uh, they don't believe Gordon Ramsay would ever cook on a stove top like this. He would definitely cook on a gas. That's okay, you know, my bad. But it is a nice. A nice kitchen nonetheless i would personally love 
to cook here. I'm not a trained chef, but I would definitely love to cook in this kitchen for my family. Nice big uh, Samsung side-by-side uh, -side with the freezer down below. This is definitely a great upgrade for the typical uh, appliances that you get within these homes. Now, you're gonna have a kitchen pantry over here, but not just the pantry. You have this area here, which is like four shelves or five shelves on one side, and then another uh, five shelves over here. But you have this closet space over here, which is gonna be the closet, the space underneath the stairwell. So more storage space over here. You can see they use it for waters here, uh, that the builder uses it, but I would probably put some more shelving here and kind of optimize the use of the space and kind of have this more as part of the kitchen pantry as well, instead of just having this, right? But that is just my opinion. But uh, let's do a quick look through the window here. Uh, doesn't seem like they want us going out too much out here, but you do have a nice lanai out here. This will not be pavered when you purchase the home. This is just something for the model and that over there would not be part of the build. That is just something that they're doing for the model to give you an idea what you can do with your backyard. But this would definitely be a nice place to kind of relax and kind of do some barbecues out here for you and your family and your friends. But uh, let's go ahead and go upstairs and see what that has to offer. Uh, let me know down below what you think about this house so far. But uh, let's go ahead and come upstairs. All right, so we are on the second floor. You are greeted with this nice loft area. So plenty of space up here. You have a lot of natural light coming in from that uh, double window there. This house is, or at least the backyard, the back of the house is facing west. So you're gonna get plenty of sunlight through this space here, which is absolutely great. Plenty of space for you to put in a nice couch here and have a nice little TV or a big TV up here and have a nice place to watch some movies and shows with your family and have maybe some game nights as you can see here. Looks like they have some, some framed uh, Monopoly uh, cards here, which is great. Uh, so definitely have uh, an idea of what you can do here. It kind of uses as a game area as well. But uh, let's keep moving on. Most of, well, not most of the rest of the room, well, the rest of the rooms will be up here. So you have a total of four bedrooms here. We have this one here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Nice uh, size bedroom here. They have like a full size bed, but it's tucked to the, to the side here and just gives you a lot of space to use right in this room. So very generous with the space in this room. Um, the ceilings will be eight foot ceilings as you usually see in two story homes, but you definitely have plenty of space here. They have uh, some cam lights or recess lights within this bedroom and it's gonna keep this nice and bright throughout the day. You do have that tempered glass window allowing some natural light in here as well. You do have some closet space here. These won't be bifolding doors. These are just like regular doors, but you have plenty of space here to kind of put all your clothes and items for this home, for this room down below as well. But uh, let's move on. Let's go across the ways here. So we have a full bathroom here. We'll get to that in a second. We have a nice little hallway here. You're gonna have your laundry and a bedroom. You do have kind of like a linen closet here. As you can see, you have one, two, three, four, five shelves. That is usually what they give you in these linen closets, but a nice little spot to put in all the linens for these, for these bedrooms up here, which is great. Now, you do have this bathroom, not this bathroom, sorry, this laundry. Um, you do have Samsung appliances here. I don't know if this will be the same appliances they give you with the purchase of the home, but what I'm told is that you do get your washer and dryer when you purchase a home through this builder. And I like that they have these cabinets instead of just a wire shelf here. Uh, so you can keep everything tucked away. It looks nice and clean in here and nice and organized, which is great. Now you do have access to the attic th through this laundry as well. And then you do have kind of like a hard surface here, which looks like it's a tile. So just in case there's a leak or something like that, you won't get any carpet uh, wet, which there is carpet throughout the second floor, but that's an easy fix if you don't like carpet. Now, coming into this next bedroom, this one looks like it might be a little smaller than the one that we saw across the ways over there, right? But still pretty generous with the space. They have a full-size bed staged here, so I mean, I think you can get 
at least a queen size bed in here and still have plenty of space also. But uh, they do give you a closet here as well. And this closet is actually smaller than the other bedroom that we saw, but still have plenty of space to store all your items for this room. Now let's go back over through this hallway. Let's go into the end of this hallway and see what they have to offer. Oh, we do have that full bathroom that I said we would see. And you have a two sink vanity in this one quartz countertop as well for this one. Uh, plenty of space for all the members to, or at least some of the members to do this, to brush your teeth, get ready for bed or get ready for the day. Uh, and not have to wait in line if they had a one sink. And you have uh, privacy over here within the shower and tub area and the toilets over here as well. So, which, which is nice. So someone could be taking a shower, getting ready over here, and then the rest could be getting ready out here and they can shut the door, have some privacy. Now they have the combination uh, tub and shower here also like they did downstairs. They have a nice window allowing some natural light in here throughout the day and you have your toilet over here tucked away for you. Now let's go to the next room just over here to our right. Um, AC handler will be up here for you. Looks like they are providing a carrier AC unit for their builds here, which is great. A lot of folks do like to see that nice blue logo there. And we have another bedroom right over this way. Same size room as the other ones that we saw uh, uh, recently. So this one has a little bit of different design, has a little slant area over there. Doesn't meet at the corner, but you do have plenty of space for a full size bed here. So I think, to be honest, this might be the smallest one out of all the bedrooms up here. Maybe you can use this as a nursery if you have uh, newborns or something like that, but you can still use it as a room nonetheless. And you do have your closet space back over here. All right, so the last and final room, we have it right over this way. It's gonna be the primary bedroom. So tons of natural light within this bedroom, definitely bigger than the other rooms that it is expected to be, right? Since it's the primary bedroom. But uh, very, very nice nonetheless for this home. A lot of space here for that king size bed and some side tables and your furnishings over here. You can put a TV up here if you're the type of person who likes to have a uh, TV in your primary bedroom. But let's come over this way. You have a primary bathroom. You have a stand in shower for this one. No tub in this house, but uh, they did give you tile work from the, from the floor all the way up to the ceiling for the shower and you have a nice uh, cam light or recess light to give you light when you're taking a shower here at night. You do have a water closet uh, right here across from the shower. A lot of folks are wanting this feature, right? A lot of folks call me and say, I, I must have a water closet in the bathroom. A lot of people like privacy when they're meditating, right? Now you have the two sink vanity here as well uh, for either spouse to get ready for bed or ready for the day. And then you have a nice uh, walk-in closet. So pretty spacious, not the biggest walk-in closet I've seen in a two-story in, or that you have seen in the videos that I've posted on two-story homes uh, within this channel, but nonetheless, definitely has plenty of space for either spouse. But uh, that's gonna do it for the tour of this house, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Let me know down below what you liked about this house, if you would change anything, or maybe it's just not for you. Let me know down below. But let's do a quick uh, recap of what we just saw and then we'll end this tour.
right, so that's gonna do it for the tour of this beautiful new construction home here within the Trinity Place community. Now we do have two other builders that we're probably gonna show you guys in other videos, so stay tuned for those in the near future. But uh, what did you guys think about this home? Nice home for folks who are looking for a two-story home, for folks who are definitely wanting to house several generations under the same roof since you have the option of five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms because you have that one possible in-law suite down below on the first floor that has that full-size bathroom, which is great for folks who are wanting to house their uh, uh, parents or anybody else here within this home need their personal space, right? Then you have all the bedrooms up top. You have that nice uh, loft up there where you can have kind of like game nights or movie nights with the family. You have plenty of space down below for entertainment for guests and family members as well. In that uh, family room down below, um, definitely great finishes there. It's very, very spacious. You have a nice dining room and that beautiful gourmet style kitchen. Not a chef's kitchen because it's not a gas stove, right? But it's a, it is a nice gourmet style kitchen. And you have that wonderful lanai out back uh, for barbecues and whatnot that we like to do here in Florida when we enjoy the beautiful weather out here. Uh, like I said, prices for this one, for about 497,000 and on up for there, uh, from there, depending on the lot that you get here. Now, do you have a low HOA of $110 for this community? You are gonna get a tot lot, which is kind of like a, a, a kid's playground. I believe you have a dog park coming up for this one and you are gonna have a nice uh, resort style pool for this community. It does have a CDD on this one, which is something that a lot of communities are starting to implement. I did find uh, a neighboring uh, a community, right, that did not have a CDD, but it had a low HOA. Uh, CDD here is a $183 a month, but again, that is taken out of your taxes at the end of the year. So um, some folks don't mind it, some do, but hey, uh, for those that don't, this could be a pretty good option for you guys if you want, are looking for a home here within the beautiful city of St. Cloud. It's not gonna break the bank too much. There are some communities here in the St. Cloud area which are well over the half a million dollar range. Uh, I'll probably show some, some, some videos of that community as well. Community that you guys might know as Sunbridge, right? Which is very, very close to Lake Nona, about a, about a five or 10 minute drive from there. This one is gonna be about 20 minutes away from Lake Nona. You are about 40 minutes away from the Orlando International Airport. You, we are just off the 192 that's gonna take you all the way down to the Kissimmee area. It's gonna connect you to the Turnpike, which will connect you to the 417. You can take it all the way down to the I-4. Looks like the weather wants to change. It looks like it wants to rain today, but it's been raining every single day. So it's been a little difficult to get you guys uh, content. but. We're making it happen because I know you guys enjoy these videos and I appreciate you guys who have subscribed and have supported the channel thus far and especially those who leave their comments and feedback down below and let us know how we can improve uh, this channel and uh, what kind of homes you guys like to see. Now, incentives right now for this community. If you are qualified for an FHA, they are offering a 4.99 fixed interest rate for the first home, first time home buyers, right? Um, they are, hold on, I got a paper here. They wrote down things for me, let's see. So interest rate fixed 4.99% uh, for FHA loans and also uh, $15,000 towards your closing costs. And that's gonna be for homes that are inventory homes, ready, quick in, quick move in homes. You don't have to go to a design center. Um, you just um, choose the home that you like. And depending if you like the interior that they did for you, just go ahead and purchase your home. But great deal for that one. Uh, 4.99 fixed interest rate is a lot better than what you're getting in the market these days, even though the, the, the interest rates recently dropped between five and 6%, right? But a uh, good time to buy uh, in new communities if you don't mind HOAs, right? Because they're giving you tons of great incentives. I mean, 4.99%, come on. Very, very nice for today's market, plus the $15,000 for closing costs. If you are purchasing here a home to be built, not an inventory home, one that's being built from dirt up or ground up, they are offering $20,000 in flex money, which I believe it's uh, for you to kind of put towards your design on the interior, or I'm assuming to be able to use that towards some closing costs as well, or maybe buy down your interest rate, but I'd have to verify that, verify that for you guys. 
But uh, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I am eager to show you uh, the next builder that we have over here, and we have another one right back there. But again, we're probably gonna see that in another video at some time in the near future. But if you like this tour, if you like this home, feel free to let us know by hitting that uh, like button. Hit that subscribe button and uh, give us a like. It just lets us know how much you like these tours and it keeps us motivated to continue to do these for you guys. Now, if you want to call me for any questions about this particular model or this builder here, or any other builder within this area, feel free to do so at the number that you're going to see here at the bottom of the screen. You're going to have my phone number. You're going to have my email. So feel free to give me a call. Leave me a voicemail. If you don't get me or connect with me on your first try, feel free to text me as well and say, hey, I just left you a voicemail. Get back to me um, or you can send me an email. Let me know you send me an email as well. Now I am going to leave a QR code right over here for you guys. That way you can scan it with your smartphone and you can go you can go ahead and have access to uh, our social media platforms, get to know us a little bit on there as well. We are gonna start providing short form uh, tours on there for folks who have time constraints and don't have time to take a look at these videos here on this platform. But I do appreciate you guys that uh, watch these videos from beginning to end. Uh, but again, that's gonna do it for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour, uh, but I'll see you on the next home tour.